In this video I am going to test two of the batteries that I have recommended for my headphone modifications. Uh, I have two good examples here. One is a year old battery that I have been sitting in my shelf for almost a year and the other one is a new one that my friend bought and that is going to go inside of her H600 those batteries are sold by very different capacity claims uh, I believe that the reality should be close to this one which claims to have 600 milliampere hours inside while others are selling ex exactly the same battery claiming uh, 1300 milliampere hours initial discharge was set to 300 milliamperes but this was clearly too high of a load, the voltage dropped way too fast. The battery isn't meant for the such high load and headphones probably don't use such high load anyway. So I retested the battery at 200 which still is too high. I believe the headphones are more likely uh, around uh, 100 or something. But still the results are pretty similar. The second battery was also discharged at 200 milliamperes which is too high for the battery for both batteries. I wasn't just patient enough to make those six hour tests uh, but they both showed around 450 milliamperes of capacity the newer one was giving out a little bit more and didn't drop so fast so I believe they are both capable of 500 and more under the design load from headphones so for a conclusion I would say try to buy from a seller who is lying less and knows more about the products that they are selling and if you did buy one claiming 1300 then do not expect um, much more than five to six hundred milliamperes in reality if you want me to do some more tests that I didn't perform or ask something about these batteries then let me know in the comment section below